Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually doing a part 2 of the Mexican Empire thing. Today it's going to be more focused in Europe. Uh, so, let's get right into this. First off, the world's going to fall. Very quickly. So, yeah. But in this case, actually, China thinks they have what they, I think, thinks what they got can actually beat them. Oh, also, the bomb, kind of. Yeah. Not gonna say why, maybe I'll do a pop a prequel to the video. Yeah. So after the US was taken uh, taken taken a new power actually came to the throne. Uh which actually no, not new but still a new power came to the throne. China, now it's kind of just going kind off of what I think, has, oops, is the strongest uh, country in the world. Also, uh, yeah. Possibly making this big series. Yeah. So, with all that, I'm gonna drop China. China's. China's. Uh. Water. And what they're doing. So. The world's kind of shocked about the Chinese Navy and how they're, uh, you know, doing this. <laughs> so, Mexico is prepared for an attack with their Navy on high alert. So, first, China makes a move, pushes them back because they were more expecting an attack on this side. Which they did get, smaller scale, but it was pretty quickly pushed out. So quickly, all of the ships go here, but they already pushed back and touched the land and actually made a landing. But the Navy quickly, having the Superior Navy quickly, yeah, pushes them out. But this is where the land battle. Since for some reason all the troops are stationed in Ukraine, I'm going to say. They don't have a big land force. So, they currently make a ginormous push and. Yeah. They quickly look before the majority of land forces here and it's slightly pushed back in a few spots but the Chinese resistance is kind of very powerful I mean look at that baby but they keep getting pushed back 
and once the majority land force comes, they actually um, almost wipe them out of the border. Uh, but that happens to be when China has a breakthrough in navy, and they just flood the navy just floods in. Very much overwhelming the forces. With many ships coming along in Canada seeing this and thinking about good old uh, they yeah, they're deciding if they wanna help anyone. So now is Mexico pretty um annoyed. Luckily though all the land forces show up. But not after some damage has been done. So after this the land force finally shows up after so long. And immediately they have a ginormous success for counteroffensive. And yeah, they end up, you know, just taking some of it. <laughs> but slowly liberating their land, um, their navy also gets recalled from, uh, this area trying to maintain the peace. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the Navy quickly shows up and. Oh, I like that blue. Oh. <laughs> and says a no to China trying to do this. So after cutting off their navy, they slowly start batting their navy like hop, hop, hop. So after a lot of navy battles and stuff, yeah, they shoved out of the land. Uh, I'm just doing this just because like it makes it kind of easier for me. So the navy. Yeah. Okay. So. So. After the navy showing how that it's actually the strongest navy, it actually um, starts kind of batting chi China's navy. Just nope. So. After the navy getting pushed back, after great, great losses, they finally reach land, almost. They retake Taiwan, um, using it currently as a military stronghold. So a giant, so people flood in from the shores. Um, 
Like, yeah. Great. We flooding. And because of the flood in, um, they make some great progress. China is kind of, uh, like, what? We are just winning the war. What happened? So, finally now, having the troops back, they start to try to recapture some areas, which does work, but, like, only a small bit, and the navy has been crushed. So, yeah. Then, slowly, more and more troops come on Taiwan. Then, the biggest navy assault in the world's, in this world's history happens. Millions of soldiers flood into China. And with this naval thing, China is quick. We uh, shrunken down to just a few areas. The Navy makes some small advances, but it's lost. They're fighting a very much losing war. But after this, China falls. Now the borders for this is gonna be kinda confusing. So let's uh get this to yeah here. So, yeah, the borders are going to be kind of confusing. So, Taiwan is going to get a lot of land. So, hmm. How am I going to do this? So, Yeah. Mexico, which right now is in red, um, is, you know, grabbing this area and Taiwan gets the rest, rest to China. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry, no edits, and yeah, uh, bye.